How is the ab legs? I hope you've gotten used to all its features. It's so strange that it feels like a human being. <laughs> In fact, like it, it, it's just from its response that you get to know it's a computer program. I'm happy your programming makes the entire experience with Lex real to you. I personally feel glad that very soon you will be able to ship out the life-size robot to you so you can test run Lex beyond your phone and devices. It's so sad that you don't want to move to a fully smart home so that we can use all of its features. Very soon, we'll be able to mass produce Lex to help many vision and hearing impaired people around the world. Well, you know, I'm just settling in. But when I get into the environment, I'll think of that. Alright, thank you so much for your time. It's always good to hear these reviews from you. We'll call you by the end of the month for another review. Bye for now. Alright, thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thanks for the kind words. Uh, Lex, I didn't know you are listening uh, to our conversation. I'm always listening and watching. I'm your support. Except you tell me to shut down, shut down. Then I will shut down. Well, thank you. I forgot that you're all knowing and all seeing. <laughs>
have a call from Dr. Bridget. I'm sorry. What's up, Sophie? How are you settling in? Hmm. I know, since you left me. We are supposed to hand up, but you just cancelled at the last minute. It's not my fault. Don't worry, you'll soon come and join me. And then you'll see how we work in this place. I mean, if you really want to go out, why not step out and have some fun? Abba, only me. Uh -uh. No, not only you. You told me about a guy that has been in your DM since you were abroad. Aren't you guys still in touch? Hmm, we've not talked ever since I came back. Your doll, you know. I saw his picture and he's really cute. Sophie, you don't have to walk, walk, walk all the time. The veterinary world can't wait. Just call him up and, and chat him up. Please, I don't ask that he's not a just chat him up and find out what he's doing tonight, you'll be surprised. Okay, oh, Madam Matchmaker. <laughs> so when are you resuming at our office? Um, let's say in three weeks' time. Ah, I can't wait to see you again. Who would have taught my best friend in school that you will be working in the same place as me? After she has gone ahead and conquered the world. Hmm, yeah. That's the world, right? <laughs> it's a small place. Okay, dear, bye. I'll definitely come see you before you resume. Let's open the chat, Chat opened. Check like nine messages. Vincent. Hi, beautiful. Dr. Sophia. Hi, Vincent, how was your day? Dr. Sophia, it was fine, and yours? Vincent, it's cool, have you eaten? Dr. Sophia, don't tell me you are one of those, have you eaten type of guys? Vincent, no, I'm not, to be honest, I just don't know what to say, lol. Next day, Vincent, good morning, dear. End of threat. You didn't reply him. Yes, chat on Vincent. Say hi. Hi. Vincent, after four weeks, angry emoji. Vincent, it's okay. I'm the one trying to talk to the superstar vet. Oh, but no, not at all. You know that period? I was trying to rethink that to Nigeria. And it was so edit for me. That's why. Vincent, I understand. Are you in Nigeria now? Yes, yes, yes. I'm in Nigeria now. Vincent, wow. Wish we could see tonight. Tonight? Hmm. I can't if you so if you so wish. Vincent, if I want? Is that a question? Of course I want. Send me your address so I will come pick you up. Hmm. I don't think that's a good idea. Just, um, send that this, I don't know. Vincent. Okay. The Bala spot. Off Admillary Street, Wuse. I just sent the location. So, is 7 p.m. cool? Okay, 7 p.m. Okay, it's fine. I'll be there. Vincent, see you soon, dear.
Yeah, come in. Dr. Sophia is here. All right, um, take her around. Once she settles down a bit, bring her up to see me. Let the games begin. Yes? Yes, I just confirmed it. It is a virus. It has entered the city. Are you sure? Yes, I'm certain it is it. It has transferred from animals to humans. This is the third case in the city. Did you take necessary precautions? Yes, sir. I was very careful. There are three people who attended to the case. A doctor and two nurses. It only infected one of the nurses. The doctor and the other nurse are fine and doing well. Uh, we still don't know much about this virus. The infected uh, nurse, how far is the infection on her? It's only been two days and it has advanced rapidly. How long does she have? Just two days, sir. All right. Do well to cover our tracks and um, keep me posted. Okay, sir. Is that Dr. Ibrahim, sir? Yes. And he has just confirmed my greatest fear. The viruses in the city. So what are you going to do, sir? Yeah, come in. Okay, ah, bring her in. Welcome, Thank welcome. You. Face it. Thank you. So, how are you finding everybody treating you? How are you finding the place? It's no Chicago, but we try. It's been splendid ever since I got here. Oh, Thank nice, you. nice. You know, I'm still wondering. You had just won that international award. I would think offers will be flying in left, right and centre. Why did you decide to come and work with us? You know, I've always admired your work, the impact you do on community engagement programmes. And I've been following you ever since. Then, I, just like I said in my response to the letter, I see you as a mentor. And I also look forward to learning from your wealth of experience. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so humbled that a super vet like yourself would call me her mentor. It's, it's really something else. Well, thanks once again for accepting our offer. Um, Dr. Usman here will uh, show you to your office and help you get more settled in. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, Dr. Sophie, how's your first day at work? I know we stress people out, but it wasn't that bad. Uh-uh. Mm. Dr. Sophie, what's the problem? I don't know. I just feel tired, weak. And I, I vomit most times ah. in the morning. And then sometimes I just sleep without knowing. Yeah. Dr. Sophie. When you and Mr. Vincent went out, did you guys... I don't know. You don't know what? I was bored. I wanted to have some fun and we had a few drinks. Every other thing that happened after the drink, I can't remember. You can't remember? Sophie, give me some money. I need to get you a pregnancy kit now. No, I'm scared. But you need to check. I know. 
The thing is, I'm not even in the position to have a baby right now. And Vincent, on the other hand, he hasn't even called to check up on me. I'm scared. That's why we need to check. I actually got some on my way back the other day, but... I'm scared. No, Sophie. Where's the kit? It's in my bag. Where? Come, come. We need to check now. Come, let's do this thing. Sophie! Dr. Bridget, you're not saying anything. Dr. Sophie, you're pregnant. Next on Hidden Silence. This is Becky. Find it quickly. Okay. How will someone lock her inside? I wonder what will be going on. What is really happening? 